All right, now when we last left off, I was I was still busy wandering around aimlessly in the uh, barracks area behind the Abbey of the Everyman, having successfully murdered the... Well, murder's, murder's an ugly word. Having successfully assassinated the High Overseer of the Abbey. You're, sadly, you're, going, you're missing out on quite a bit of footage I cut of me just wandering around very confused because I'd, forgot, I'd forgotten how to get into the, uh, into the workshop because I'd forgotten that I had to do what you're about to see me do. And we begin. Unmute. It's actually very simple. As Batman has always known, you go in through, you break glass and go in through the ceiling. This is, um, this is just another, someone, someone is, is using, is attaching bombs to dogs, basically. The, the hounds thing is a, an important part of the, uh, the overseers. They all have these giant, yeah, this is just, this is just basically stuff. That they all have these giant, um, dogs that they use. Uh -huh. There's actually, a, there's like a kennel area under the uh, abbey that I didn't go through here, but you'll see later in a sort of uh, we outtakes. We the effectiveness of Holger's device, mm -hmm. or the mathematical beauty of the music itself. We've seen it in action against the forbidden practices too many times to deny it. But the question no one wishes to ask is, is the incantation itself black magic? The boxes are priceless, but what's inside? Now, what could he be talking about? Hmm. Nick, why don't you read this one? All right. Excerpt from a longer work. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses, and ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the, turbulent, the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. Yeah, now that's that'll come up. That'll come up, become more important later. But remember the uh, when we saw the um, when we were in the. Uh, distillery and that guy was talking telling that story about someone snuck into the overseer's headquarters and he heard a weird music yeah a plinky plonky sound this is probably yeah. what he was talking about and we'll actually there's a little it'll become more of a gameplay consideration later but there is a little sample of it we get to try sooner overseer music box check this out now watch this Notice what happens. Doesn't see, see when see when you crank up the Japanese power electronics, then you know your powers don't work. And this is just something else about you know counterbalancing mathematical principles that somehow negate the powers of the outsider. Interesting. Yeah. And they... And this is, you know, apparently it's sort of an ancient technology. Or knowledge. Oh. I'll do this. I'll do this one. Excerpt from a longer work band on... Ba work on super... Longer band work on supernatural ritual. The Metaphysica Mysterium. It is said that we should not sully our hands when combating the forces of the void. My studies have be been deemed heretical by my brothers, but the rewards have been invaluable. I have harnessed the same energies employed by the outsider and his accursed followers while avoiding their corruption. I will prescribe a twofold method in this text. In direction, as the unwholesome powers of the outsider use living flesh as a conduit, we can avoid being tainted by using the flesh of others instead. Containment. By using channels and barriers, we can focus these void energies in a raw state, shielding them from the perverse perspectives of the outsider. So, so someone, do, uh, yeah, someone doing research into apparently channeling the powers of the outsider to use against him. 
Interesting. Through other people's bodies, apparently, which sounds unpleasant. This 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 actually this sounds weirdly reminiscent of the plot of the second Ghost Rider movie. I never saw it. It's have you seen the well? It's actually a lot better than the first one. Really? I, I mean, that's not hard. I mean, it's not a great movie, but as I said to my friend, the second one, it has its moments. The first one has no moments. The first one is just relentlessly dull. The second one is kind of ridiculous, but it's at least in some parts entertainingly ridiculous. Are there two Eva Mendezes? Eva Mendez? Was she in the... She was the fir in the first one. Uh, no, there's gonna be... It's kind of weird, because the second movie... It's just something about crossbows. Them trying to use crossbows, not having much success with it. The second movie is only is not really in continuity with the first. It's in... But Nick Cage is there. I know, it's the same, but it's the same actor and everything. But... It's weird. Yeah. Oh, well, I But, don't. meanwhile, in Dishonored... Yeah, workshop key. It's possible to find another copy of that workshop key somewhere, I believe, and get in that way without breaking the windows. Huh. But, but then you wouldn't get to break the windows. So here's my question. Could you not have blinked through the glass? Uh, no. Blinking... Blinking requires... You can't go through stu matter with it. I see. But, but, and and you, generally you can't go through narrow bars, either. It's... It's kind of like teleportation, but generally speaking, you can't use it to pass through something you couldn't have fit through normally. It just does it much faster and lets you cross gaps you couldn't have leaped. And this... Here's the handle for a... something outside. It, it, it's kind of creepy looking when you're because they don't put a you don't have they don't give you any hands so it's just hovering in front of you. Yeah, I've had that problem with. Is, now, does this run on Unreal or? I, yes, it does. Okay, I think or, Unreal, uh, which is inspired in part by the Source Engine, both do this thing where when your character carries objects, they just hover instead of touching them. It's a little weird. Or maybe there's just ghosts involved. I'd hope so. I, I prefer to assume that that Corvo has like this ghost that follows him around. Such corruption, such oh. hypocrisy. Maybe we will call it no more. No, the heart is not like this place. Ooh, a bone charm. Let's see what we have here. Healthy appetite. Food heals you slightly more. Call to the spheres. All right, this is a bit weird. This is like, uh, d like in-universe science fiction almost. Call to the spheres, volume one. Excerpt from a work of fiction. Early chapters. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Orcado, third prefect from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring each of the craft's small undulations. Orcado pulled a lever, and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew, unbe grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upward. I was too afraid to look through the window, but suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Bren looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the litany, my pupil. It will protect your heart from the turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. So they're, they're flying away in some sort of... Thing. Some sort of spacecraft fueled by steampunk technology and whale suffering, basically. Interesting. Into the outer spheres, and we'll we'll encounter some other uh, some little other little snippets from this later. It gets kind of weird. I mean, more more so. Oop. The outsider. Oh, why don't you read this one, Nick? All right. Let's see. Excerpt from the diary of an unknown heretic, seized before his execution. For most, the outsider is nothing but a child's tale, meant to instill fear of that beyond the family, the community. 
When I was young, my mother and I were on the run, moving from one village or sea town to the next, camping in the woods for weeks, always with the cursed overseers at our boots. Bax. That night, she told me, oh, Bax. Like, I, 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 sh I, sh I should mention for anyone watching this that Nick is not semi-literate or anything like that. It's just he's watching this through a much smaller window and the text is not as clear for him as it is for me. Uh, at Continue. night, she, she told me of her dreams, of the empty place where the outsider whispered to her. With each visit, her craft grew until she could see through the eyes of the moths and unlock a door or window latch from outside a house. I will find this empty place. Somehow the key to open the void will fall into my hands. In time, I will learn the secret, and he will call to me as he called to her. Call me a heretic for my studies. Drag me to your cold stone cell. Whip my flesh and put me on... Trial as an apostate. Burn my body to ash. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, so there's this existing... Like, there's this tradition... Secret tradition... Uh, what? But I will continue to seek the realm of which my mother spoke. It is my life's meaning. So yeah, there's this, there's this existing tradition of worship of you know like worship of the outsider and practice of, of magic. Can you hear me? Yeah. And um. And the church is always trying to clear it out, but it's a constant thing, nonetheless. Perilous. Look, that moon is, moon is beautiful. Hold on. We're just out of sync. Unmute yourself. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, there we go. And we're back. Alright. Well, we've found everything there is here. Is that you? There's, down there is Samuel. Samuel's by far the nicest guy in, in the Empire, basically. He's got some uh, pretty good eyes on him, too, for such an old guy. Yeah. Well, He'd make an amazing Lord, guard. It's Samuel. I'm here. Guards, guards in Dunwall seem to come from the absolute ass bottom of their society, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Actually, I believe there's some stuff in some of the backup materials about... From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? You know who he could, you know who, okay, you know go. what those sideburns kind of make him look like? Wolverine. I was just going to say, he looks like a grizzled old Wolverine. Which makes me like, which makes, just makes him even better now. It was, there was that old man Logan comic. Was it any good? It was very good. Check out, 75 hostiles, 3 civilians killed. 23 dead or unconscious bodies found. I found all the Sokolov's paintings, bone charms, and runes. And there's, you know, special actions. I poisoned the High Overseer, saved the lady from the Zealous Overseers, saved Captain Kurnow, and so on. Now we're on our way back to the Hound's Pit Pub. And, of course, we, you remember Martin, who we rescued. Yeah. On the way. This is... Every mission sort of ends with this... You sailing back up to the pub. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate me. Bub. Now, now he's just Wolverine in my head now. I'm, I'm just going to assume from now on that this is just like a... This is like one of those comics from like the early to mid-90s when Wolverine was just in everything. Oh god, it was amazing. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. There is a steampunk a Wolverine. Man, and one day if I remember poop. right. I can't is there? remember. Yeah. yeah. What his name is. I know is. you did this for the right reasons. But I want you to take this as a reward. I think it might be something. It's an like old the heirloom beast. one of my aunts gave me. Oh. Or the animal. Oh, and see, she, we got 100 coins for that. Oh, so, nice. Because she asked us to protect her uncle. Can she really afford that? Isn't she a maid? Well, she said she said it was a, she said it's a family heirloom. Uh, and as you, as you recall, Lo um, Corvo's mutant power is that he can just simply touch things and instantly convert it to currency. This is going it's an to excellent work. power. To take down it the is. Regions and all of the you know that. Yes. 
Hopefully the high overseer is the first step along that path. Here's our Wait family. a minute, did must you already take off your mask? Emily. Did I? Who knows what Pretty her sure mind is did. like being there when her mother like the killed. first thing you did when you got off the mask. <laughs> I should go back and check that. That'd be kind of a funny continuity gaff if that's if you're right. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in place. <laughs> I need to go back and check that. He controls that. the city watch. Through Campbell, yeah. he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. Well, maybe, maybe in addition to the mask, Corvo just actually had one of his actual eyeballs replaced yes. as well. I'm aware. Maybe. That my brothers the control the voting block for my family. I'm very go. much aware of that. Who knows? Anything is possible when you run it through whale suffering. Yes. So you can hear them. They're talking about Lord Pendleton's brothers. Oops. Hear what the heart has to say. Oh, so he's the wrong Pendleton. Yeah. Yeah, he's the he's the younger son, so he he has two older twin brothers, and they sort of they control you know like the family affairs more than he does.